Hi, it's Dwyer. RichardDwyer.com, my firm site. Keeping it free, .blogspot.com, a financial blog that I run. Today is Saturday, April the 25th, 2020. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, for some reason, ID Network hasn't advertised it a lot. But there's an excellent episode. It's season one, episode four of their show, If I Should Die, that discusses the infamous Adnan Saeed case, right? Or Adnan Syed. It's an excellent episode. It's entitled Saint or Strangler. Let's talk about it because I believe it moves the conversation on whether Adnan did the crime forward in a meaningful way. Now, Heyman Lee was very private. She lived different lives in different circles. Her parents did not know that she had dated Adnan. Her friends, some of whom show up on the ID show, did not meet Don, the older man she dates after Adnan. Keep in mind, Hay is 17. Don is 21 or older. There's a sizable age gap. Right? Her friends did not meet Don. Now there is a perception out there, and you've seen it in many shows, including a show that's right now on HBO, that Admin, who was a great student, and who participated in school athletics was a happy-go-lucky high schooler who was friendly and just wanted to have a good time. Now I'm a litigator who has done jury trials. I'm also a divorce lawyer who has done domestic violence trials. Let's pursue a different narrative. What if as I suspect, Adnan is a controlling narcissistic psychopath. The ID show strongly hints at it. It is one of the first that does so in stark terms. Adnan's relationship with Hay may well have been mentally abusive. Let's remember, she's private. Right? Her friends haven't even seen Don, her boyfriend. I don't get the feeling that she talked about parts of her private life with them. So, while she is writing her new boyfriend Don's name all over her diary, her friends haven't met him. Right? Now, she clearly cannot talk to Adnan about why she has decided to leave him. He is that hard to talk to. So she writes him a letter. When he, and let's use a word that fits this tone, confronts her at school, she tells him to read her letter, which he already has. In my opinion, he obviously is not a listener. Maybe, and I believe this might be the case, she wrote the letter because she sensed or knew of a temper problem that he had. Now let's remember, and you'll have to research this online, using Google, Bing, whatever. But while this is taking place, understand that Adnan was stealing from his family's church. Right? There are many sides to Adnan. So, then we get to his drug dealing friend, Jay. Is Jay a casual get high with buddy? Or is Jay another person that Adnan is bullying? On the ID show, they depict Adnan 
as telling Jay that unless he does a favor for him, Adnan is going to tell people that Jay is a drug dealer. He is going to rat Jay out. The favor involves Jay driving Adnan's car and picking him up later in the day, which turns out to be the day that Hay goes missing. Now on the ID show, and it is a depiction that is more in line with what I think happened than most of the shows I've seen. When Jay picks up Adnan, Adnan then shows him Hay's body in the trunk of her car, which Adnan has. Adnan then tells him, you are now an accessory to murder. So you're going to help me dispose of the body. Now from the comments I have received to earlier videos on this case that I've posted here on YouTube. I know there are many who believe that Jay did the murder. I don't. I view Jay as a terrified hostage of Adnan Syed. When he later talks to police, we know he tells them that he did not want Adnan hanging around his girlfriend. He feared for her safety. On the ID show, Hayes' friends confirm that neither Jay nor Jennifer Puskateri, who Adnan and Jay visit after the murder, knew Hay. Right? Jay's not part of Hayes' circle of friends. At most, he's an outside acquaintance. Simply put, there is no motive for Jay to kill Hay. So in sum, I encourage you to look at the show on ID Network, right? Again, it's season one, episode four of the show entitled, If I Should Die. The name of the show is Saint or Strangler, right? And then may not have been who his supporters think he is. I don't view him as a saint. I view him as a strangler. His girlfriend, who was at the same school with him, had to write a letter to break up with him. Maybe she said something was very wrong with him. Let's remember one simple fact here. She goes missing. He never calls her after she goes missing. Right? She was one of the first people he contacted when he got his new phone. Shortly thereafter, she goes missing. He never calls. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.